Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Seeing Tarot and today we're going to do the Mega Scorpio. But we're going to do a little different kind of Mega. We're going to do two swatches today, but I'm going to do clarification. So, um, you know, I'm going to do clarification for every card that comes in through the reverse, just to explain a little bit and to see what's really going on and why that person is thinking in the reverse. All right, so let's get started. This is going to be your love reading to see what's going on with you and the person. I'm using a different kind of mic, so I hope it doesn't sound too bad. It's probably a little loud, but we'll see how this goes. Let me show you guys this right here, all right? So it's a little bit more, too, but, you know, I find, like, these little ones work very well. This is the one that I usually use. This little small one that I put on my clothes here. But I feel like I hate the wires <laughs> all the time on my clothes. And, you know, it just looks so tacky. And some people just have it in their hands and talk and whatever. But I'm not, you know, about that. So let's get started and just try, you know, to just focus on the message, you guys. All right, I feel an energy coming through. I don't know what this is about. But it's like breathing in, like someone is trying to catch their breath. Scorpio, please. Any messages for Scorpio? Any messages for Scorpio? Thank you, angels. I feel excitement. I feel some a new chapter. Okay. A star. The Ten of Swords, the Queen of Wands, okay. the Knight of Cups, Oof. oh my god, Scorpio, the Five of Wands, and the Hyperond. change and nothing have changed this is what i'm hearing scorpio this is what i'm feeling with the star like goosebumps like someone is waiting for change here okay change in this situation and it's not seem to come in fast enough like, they're losing faith in this relationship. They're losing faith in this connection. They're dealing with some heartaches or some breaks. Like, some break, some broken heartache or something that someone broke their heart. They're dealing with a lot of physical agony, mental agony here. Okay? This person is feeling like, every time I try, every time I try, this is what I'm hearing. They're feeling like down, dark, depressed, going through some physical or mental health issues. Like your mental health is like you're thinking dark thoughts or someone is thinking dark thoughts here. This person definitely looks at you as someone very attractive. They're coming back. You don't need to worry about this. It's like the devil is playing tricks on you. If you guys are separated, this person is coming back to you. They look at you as very, very attractive. They're going to ask for a second chance. They're flowing, overflowing with love here. It's all about pride, though, with this person. They have this pride. Everybody does. You know? There was a fallout. You know, some fights here. I'm feeling like other people might be involved in this connection as well. I'm seeing you, like, fighting other people, arguing with other people. Things are out of control to the point of no return. You feel like you can't like win this war, this battle, this conflict. 
Some of you are just like to let things go, walk away from this. These arguments, these fights. This is about a marriage for some of you or relationship, potentially in engagement or living together. Someone that is in a, a, a relationship here. They're saying you have the key to their heart. You have the keys to my heart. But there's so much lies in the trail here. I'm seeing lies in the trail. I'm seeing that you're actually, you don't know the truth about what's going on here. And, some, and you're like trying to figure out the truth here. Because this person is not giving it to you. This person knows of who you are. It knows that you are all about making things work. Um, very passionate about whatever energy you arbor into your life. Okay? And they know that you're not about the games. They know who you are. I'm going to sip some of my tea, y'all. <laughs> they know. I'm getting Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. I'm also getting Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Yes, this person could have your qualities as well. Hmm. I'm getting like this person is definitely, for some of you, might, I'm thinking like, okay, let me relate this. Like, for some reason, the energy is telling me like this person, like someone is thinking this person is being um, told what to do or pushed to make these kind of decisions this way. But I'm telling you, this person is making their own decisions. It's not, if people can say or do what they want around this person, and it's like, they're like, okay, well, thank you. But at the end of the day, they're going to make their own decisions. That's what I see here. Also, seeing some kind of like you're running away from this person, like somebody found a trap or something, like this person, like somebody's saying this person played me for a fool. You know, this person is a liar. They can tell me the truth. I mean, you know, it's like every time you are trying to find out the truth about this person, This person, and you're giving them the benefit of the doubt, that's what I'm saying, and you're giving them time, and they're not coming through. Divine timing is at play here. Divine timing is at play here. So this person is um, uh, very much, you know, saying this like fire sign quality where they just like retreat and stay away. You don't hear from them, you know? This is what this person is doing, just like waiting in, you know, in the corner somewhere. Just watching. I feel like this this situation that's going on because clearly this person devastated you, you know? You're feeling like they put the Ten of Swords in your back. Like this person didn't have your back when it was necessary and when it was needed. Like they're never there for you when, you know, you really need them to be. There was no investment in this relationship. So you definitely felt like this person didn't really want to be in this relationship or didn't really want to be with you, okay? For some of you, you're feeling like this person wasted your time, all right? There is time um, that's needed in this connection for healing, okay? I'm getting like you won't um, always feel this way, okay? Time, divine timing will take place. So the situation needs time to heal. I'm seeing you choosing yourself here anyways, all right? Because you already know there's some kind of work that needs to be done with this Ten of Swords. Because um, I'm also getting, like, I always say that the Ten of Swords is like, yes, this person wasn't there for you, but also, you know, you're dealing with a lot of um, tainted situations that happened 
into your life when as you are grown into adulthood so and these are things that wasn't paid attention to wasn't you know made serious until you know it just keeps happening you're like what the hell is going on what is really going on here you know with my life like i have everything else but i can't get a companion i can't seem to you know get that one situation that i want which is a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend you know a committed relationship that real relationship that i see on tv you know and i'm feeling like the universe is also trying to let you understand that you have to know who you are first you have to appreciate yourself first and then a situation will come into play you will be rewarded rewarded with that person because they know what you want okay the universe sees everything okay. all right so i'm seeing like you know this situation you're thinking this person will never come back but you'll never hear from them again or this is really done but this thing is incomplete here, okay? This person is waiting, waiting in the wings, okay? Waiting to, for things to settle down, um, for you to be in a better place. They're afraid of what you might say here. There's unfinished business with you and this person. For some of you, you probably don't care. But if that's the case, why is this still coming up? You know? The death card is also here. Someone is very much stuck in this connection. This could be a marriage for some of you that is in separation or some kind of situation that you guys are just not together, not seeing eye to eye. But I'm feeling like this person is definitely making this decision to move Towards this, to work towards this, but they just don't know how because they don't really understand um, how you feel or what they have done or what or what they truly have caused. Okay, they know they're in this situation, but they don't understand it as how you understand it. So they're kind of stuck. Like, okay, do I should should I move on with someone else or should I move on with this person? But they want to move on regardless. Okay. <clears throat> They're moving very, very slowly here in the chariot, but they're thinking about you. They're very unhappy with how things ended up. You know, very unhappy. Especially now where their life is. And get into this and do the clarifications on the back we have the nine of wands you know you guys are going through a lot of experience nine of wands represents to me the battle that you guys have been in you know the situations the experience that you guys have been in in this relationship for some of you this was a cycle this has always been happening over and over some of you, these are the times that you took this person back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, uh, these are the wounds or these are people, you know, that you're trying to, um, you know, like you've been, this person been protecting you from a lot of different people behind it, behind them. It is Nine of Wands. It could just could represent a lot of things, but mostly like you're just so tired. But at the same time, you're going to fight for the cause here. Um, you've been through a battle. But you're not about to give up. But this is in the reverse in the present moment in the back of the deck. So you're definitely feeling like, oh my God, I need to get away from this person. But this person is definitely feeling like, oh, I need to work on this. <laughs> you know, I still want to fight for this. Okay, so let's clarify this star. Let's go along with the star, please. Let's clarify the star. Ooh, okay, we have, we have one more card. Ooh, saw that? Jumped, 
jumped. All right, so the star is clarified by the seven of swords, the magician, and the fools. You know, you don't trust this person. This is why you're losing faith here, but you're putting things in the universe. The reason why you don't trust this person or you're losing faith is because this person lies constantly. You like, they, they lie constantly to you, and then you have to find out the truth on your own to give you more clarity. You know, they're very unfair. But yet you're putting everything in the universe hands. If it's meant to be, sure. But you're not, you know, putting any work in it or trying to, you know, make this work. Okay, why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, please? Seven of Pentacles. There's a lot of other people here. So this person is um, cheating for some of you. I mean, they're not overwhelmed, you know, but they're like doing this undercover. Like I'm seeing them, you know, like, you know, getting what they want from these people and not seeing them again. You know, this is the kind of energy that your person is doing. Like they're trying to be careful, like cover their tracks here. Um, they're not trying to have long-term relationships with anyone. And you're feeling like you know about this, but you just don't know if you want to completely like sign the paper or, you know, change the locks here, you know, like to make a, a form um, decision to move on. You know, this person is coming off as someone that is very young, immature, and, you know, they're doing a lot. Like you already know this person is not ready for a committed relationship, but here you are. Tell me about this page of cups here because this person is clearly holding back any type of emotions. I didn't even, um, I started finding cards and I didn't even, um, ooh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so they're, they want to come back to you. Can I have two more cards, please, for this, um, page of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces energy? It's like, no apology, no thanks, I'm not doing this. <laughs> wow. No apology. This person cannot stop thinking of you. Okay. So, you know, it's clarified by the Six of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Wands here. This Page of Cups. You know, I'm seeing the Page of Cups. I'm thinking this person is holding back a lot of emotions that they do have for you. All right. Let me put this up a little bit because I want you guys to see the cards. As well, when I go like this, I hate when it's all the way down. Okay. Okay. So it's still the same, but okay, let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. If you guys were still here at 18 minutes, go ahead and like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube can push the videos through. Have the video grow so the channel can grow. Okay. All right. So I feel like this person is definitely like holding back. They haven't made a decision. It's like, I need to apologize, but I know that, you know, I can't because I'm going to take the L with this one. They haven't made a decision yet, but this person needs to be very careful because the angels are also watching. The angels are all over this reading, by the way, all over this reading. So whoever, um, is, whoever is passed over into your life is deeply protecting you, okay? Deeply protecting you, Scorpio. So we see the nine of sores where you feel very depressed you feel um anxiety you feel like you wasted your time with this person you feel like you were used like you know you weren't chosen when it was necessary from this person um this could be ears leader or sag energy as well very passionate sign that you know um is into you a very emotional sign it could be a scorpio cancer or pisces as well um that's coming towards you they want to see where things go here. That's what I'm hearing. But this person, I'm going to say this because this person want to see where things go, right? But they're not in, they're not ready for any kind of marriage, even though the high front is here. Is this a decision that they're willing to make moving forward? 
um, for some of you, could be married with this person and they are not ready for this day. I feel like they just pleased you by giving you two of wands here, giving you what you wanted, but it wasn't necessarily what they wanted. But you know, you have soulmate connection here, you have the ace of wands, you know, terrifying the page of cups here, which I'm getting like this person, you know, the reason why they're coming back to you, but they're coming back without the without the right approach, okay? Um, they're thinking about you a lot, thinking about things that, you know, went wrong. They want a new beginning because, you know, but they know they might not get it, okay? They might not get it, you know, you might just cut them off sexually or you already have done that and this is why the Ace of Wands is in reverse here. I'm also seeing, like, they're going to try their very best regardless um, with trying to give you an offer of trying again, but not approaching it. I feel like the, the best thing this person should have did is just say, hey, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I know it, um, but this person didn't come off that way. You're just like, look, I want to try again, you know? I miss you. That, that's, you know, stuff like that. Judgment, please. Why is the judgment here? Why is the judgment here? I'm also seeing the Ace of Pentacles, you guys. Clearly someone that is married here. The legacy, kids, is involved. A contract, you know. I'm seeing that you're very unhappy moving forward without this person, but you're just upset that you this person brought devastation, arguments, all this drama into your life. All this drama into your life. I'm seeing this person. See, I'm trying to get these cards, but this card, it keeps coming out. I'm getting a death in reverse again because they're stuck. They're not making any decisions. They're living in regret and thinking about you constantly. The justice is clarified by the death in the Five of Cups. Mm -mm. Like, they're acknowledging this split. Like, you guys split, you know, they acknowledge it. But at the same time, it's like, they want to get back to where they were, you know? Why is the five of wands in reverse, please? I'm seeing balance here. Like some kind of balance or even the scale. Like they want to come back in. Balance. They want to start over. Not completely invest, but give a little bit of what they have took from you. Wow, third party. You found out someone was involved with this person from work for some of you. Oh my gosh. Like someone, um, like you found out about this, you're disappointed. Look at this. Oh my God, these cards are like coming in. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Something about time, you guys, with the Four of Pentacles. Like, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. This is all about money, um, materialistic things. This person could have been selfish to you, but I'm also, again, like this person um, tends to cover this up with materialistic things or try to buy your love instead of solving issues when something does come up. Um, I'm also getting a Ten of Pentacles, you guys. This could be a marriage. Mm -mm -mm. A marriage here. In turmoil, in divorce, separation. You know? I'm getting children. I might see a dog. <laughs> Somebody has a dog. Fighting over a dog. And some kids fighting over the house, everything, money. Where's the death card in reverse? Why is this person stuck? Why can't this person move forward? Death card, please. The 
they don't know how to invest. They're not ready to invest. They know what you want. They know what you want. You know, they want this relationship, this history, this nine of cups. They did think of you. I'm going to say did because it's in reverse. Um, as everything they ever wanted. However, they feel like something has changed. Like something has changed. You're there, you were their wealth, their wish fulfillment here. Um, everything that they ever wanted, but it was just never complete. Everything that they ever planned for you just never came through. You know, they feel like they can't give you what you want. Can't invest, can't give you what you want. And the Nine of Cups, which they wanted to do so much, but all they're bringing to you is devastation in the Nine of Wands, like making you have anxiety, burning you out, making you tired, you know, fighting for a cause that is just a cycle. Like they constantly do this to you. Why is the world in reverse, please? What's, the, what's incomplete in this situation? Why is the world in reverse? I'm getting the three of wands, the queen of wands, and your energy. All right, so this person is telling me that, you know, the reason why is because you're in and you're out. You are all over the place, actually. Your intuition is really off. Like, you don't trust them. Like, you don't trust what they say. But they are so looking at you. Look at that. Queen of wands, queen of wands. They, like, they think that you are, like, so beautiful. Like you can achieve, like you guys can achieve anything together, but you know this pride that this person have is ruining this whole connection. Like you know they just doesn't take responsibility. They let you wait, or they just make they they make things go out of get out of control. Like it's a little thing, and they make it just linger and linger until it just goes out of control. And it's like. By the time they come back to you, you already in a relationship, you already found someone new, and now they're telling you how they feel and making a lot of things difficult for your life. Okay? Uh, why is the sun in reverse, please? Why is the sun in reverse? Because you're not with them. You're tying up loose ends. They're not happy with, with you not in their life. Wow, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands. And, you know, you're not reaching out. They're not reaching out, but they're saying you're not reaching out. The hangman. You both are, like, waiting for each other. That's what they're saying here. Like, they're trying to impress you, trying to make things look a certain way when they're really, like, I feel like when you see this person, they don't look like they're thinking about you or you feel like they are so moved on. Um, they might live with someone else or whatever, but they're like trying to look like look like this, like they're happy, like they don't need you. But when they're in your dark times, they're just thinking about what you guys had, you know, what could have been. And it's just lingered way too long. Like the conversations that you and this person might have is just brief because they're just, they're not the best communicators. That's what I'm seeing here. The whole reading that I'm, I'm doing, and look at all these cards, and I have yet to see um, communication. I have yet to see the communication. I'm seeing feelings. I'm feeling what this person wants to offer you, um, but this person is very still. This person is not making any movements. Um, when it comes to jumping in with the fools, there is caution there, okay? There's no trust, so this person is standing still. It's like, no communication, you guys. Where's the hermit here? Like, moving alone, being alone, this is your energy. Like, you know, not happy with what the situation is, but you have to deal with it, you know? Um, you're just focusing on things that 
you can't control, you know, at this present time. Can we please? Has it in reverse? Third party. All right. Third party in the back. So you're dealing with third party in the present, third party um, situation. This is why you're feeling this way. This is why you're in this. You know, you felt like, you know, this person was trying to juggle both things. And, you know, this is not a, the six of um, the six of pentacles. When I'm seeing it next to the three of swords like this, it's just telling me that this person was doing both. This person was even in the scales. Like, um, for some of you, this person could have um, cheated on you because you cheated on them with this six of pentacles, okay? Trying to give back to what you did to them. Trying to, you know, um, make peace with this um, in their own way, which is horrible. Um, but I'm also seeing there's a decision that was made here to end this or to stop this. Or to make peace with this because this person i'm getting like they don't want a negative energy to linger but i'm also getting they don't know how to communicate with you um they don't they're not ready for a committed relationship but they just cannot get how beautiful you are um out of their mind you're so good for them this is what i'm hearing you're so good for them wow so let's go ahead and do your energy and your person's energy because I really want to, I'm really nosy to see how you feel about this person and how this person feels about this relationship moving forward or what, what are you guys planning, you know? Let me look at these cards here. You guys made it to 32, 17, 32, 18, 32, 19, 32, 20, 32, 21, 22. Go ahead and like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube can see that you like it. Push the video through to a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. Okay? All right. Let's get into it, y'all. So this is going to be your deck. Scorpio feelings towards this person, please. What's Scorpio feelings towards this person? Scorpio's feelings towards this person. Scorpio's feelings towards this person, please. Energy. attracted to this person but you feel like this person has some ways um you know i'm getting libra energy for some of you maybe this person has some ways about them that you know or something that this person is into that is just it's, it's like really this is what you got for me but this person is definitely addicted to you or thinking about you a lot like you already feel this energy you already know about this um but i'm feeling like you know you're looking at this person like damn you have you're really cold you're really cold to me you know like you really think that i am just gonna sit here and take this this is what i'm hearing <laughs> you know i'm seeing the five of pentacles i'm seeing the the king of swords oh my goodness communication God, yes. Then the six of cups. All right. I see that, you know, there is still going to be some talks about this person probably leaving you for the five of pentacles. You know, for some of you, you have this house, you know. Um, anytime I see the five of pentacles, it reminds me of the home. The home because of the way it looks in every card. It's like a house to me. But this person, you know, 
Um, I haven't had someone else move into this house, kick you out, make you feel like you had to go, like you didn't belong there anymore, or try to take away your house from you, you know, trying to take you, like, take away everything you have. Um, like, their emotions were shut off, like, they were just closed off. Like, you couldn't get in, like, to this person you're like who are you like why are you acting this way like i'm also seeing like you had to like get a lot of things together very very quickly on your own that's why the hermit was there you were just doing things and you felt a certain way doing them because these are things that you thought you're gonna have a partner with to help you through all right i'm seeing the king of swords i'm also seeing the six of Oops. so many connection in reverse you know you know that this is your past person so obviously you guys are not together right now this person is going to communicate this with you you guys are going to talk about the past and what they have done to you i mean scorpio you're looking at this person like yeah you left me for someone else or you told me to leave or you know you definitely made me feel like where i lived wasn't where i belong anymore these are things that you're going to talk to with this person and it's going to be a great conversation a great conversation a great conversation okay between you and this person i feel like this is something that you guys need um because the whole reason that i was doing i have not saw one sword maybe the page of swords which was like a yes no maybe so kind of energy okay let's see what your person feels but you know this person you know you guys are coming off as soulmates. So, Scorpio, you look at this person as someone that always come back to you. Always come back to you. This is not the first time. I've definitely seen some hurt with this red here on the floor. Like, I'm seeing some blood here that was shed for some of you. Wow, your energy. Scorpio person who feels for Scorpio. What's your energy towards Scorpio? Scorpio. They definitely feel like you don't know what you want, Scorpio. You don't know what you want. You're not believing anything that they say. But they are saying this family <laughs> and the dogs are still coming up. Like, look at the dogs, y'all. Mm -mm -mm, ten of Pentacles. Dogs and kids <laughs> are very important to them and you are very important to them. The house is very important to them. This legacy that you guys have built is very important to them. And they want to definitely work this out with you but they're not sure where your mind is of how you feel about them which you feel like <laughs> they're your soulmates that's what, how you feel but it's just like they're like stuck into something that you just can't reach like you know but i feel like this person recognizes this but also they feel like their way out like they want a way out of this like this is not something that they cannot get out of they might be tied to someone else that which is very a toxic you know like a baby daddy a baby mama drama kind of situation or a toxic family that you're just tied to and it's making it very difficult for you and them to be together it's in the back you have the moon here, secrets on top of secrets, and then the world. You know, they feel very complete with you. You know, it's, it's like, but it's a cycle between you and them. And this is why they keep coming back because they just, it just feels good to be with you. But at the same time, there's so many things that this person brings you through that you're just not sure. And I feel like they're putting you through this experience, you know, making you feel like you, you don't know where to go here. And definitely, like, there's so many jealousy 
around you. And I need you to be careful, Scorpio, because these people are very, very close to you. I want to be nosy and see what follows. Wow, your energy. They look at you as this nurturing person. Look at that. Very attractive towards you. But they feel like you want to pack your bags and go. They know you'll be okay by yourself. Also soulmate. Okay, so they recognize the soulmate connection as well. For you and them. What are you feeling? I know I've seen the devil. You know they're immature and they're not ready for a committed relationship. You're willing to forgive this person and let go of a lot of devastation. I see that you're going to do a lot of work. We did talk about that with the temperance and also the ten of swords, but we did see um, with this um, swords in your back and you also saw the nine of swords as well that you're letting go. Um, you know, you're kind of like not letting this person know how you truly feel because you're just not ready. Um, there's some incompletion here, okay, with this tower that happened. So you're waiting for answers with this person to give you, but I feel like you're not going to receive that as yet until they're ready to come up to you and open up because right now I'm just seeing like the page of swords, you know, like that immature energy, like the page of pentacles, you know, this person wants a legacy, but yet they're just standing very still. No, they're already slow. I mean, slow process and they're just moving slower or not even at all. You know, like this is how you see them not moving at all, very slow, very cold, but there will be a conversation, you know, because you feel this is coming and you're telling me, hey, the king of swords is here. This is my soulmate. You know, there's going to be a conversation with them, you know, or there's going to be a big conversation coming up. Um, and they're showing me that what's important to them is this ten of pentacles. So for some of you, you might be married to this person and this is what this this is what's important, you know, but at the same time, this person tends to make you wait. Okay, they linger in, just waited, thinking that they're all bad in a bag of chips, but they want you to come out of the boat. You know? They want you to jump out of the boat, swim to shore towards them. They ain't helping you, they ain't even giving you a stick to help you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just, oh, I'm getting that energy. Oh my goodness. So let's get back into your second swatch. I want to see what's popping. Okay. Let's see the future. I'm sorry I yawned, y'all, but it's early in the morning. That's early. So I'm trying to get these videos out as early as possible. All right. So Scorpio, this person in the future, please. Scorpio and this person in the future. Thank you, angels. What's going on for Scorpio and this person in the future? I'm just going to include some messages, but I don't think I can, you guys, because this swat, we're already at 4318, 4319, 4320, 4321. If you are still here, go ahead and like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up, please. So it can be pushed to a bigger audience and be successful. So the channel, so we can hit 35 already. <laughs> yes, we're almost at 35, y'all. I'm so excited. Oh, you guys are gracing my heart. Okay, let's see what's going on for you and this person in the future. Or Scorpio in the future. Wow, the nine of wands. What follows, please? Oh, okay. Well, you know, okay. Let's see, Scorpio, relax. Just relax. I don't know what I see here, but... Relax, okay? You are so defensive. Well, you should be, <laughs> you know. Look at that. The five of pentacles in reverse. Remember we saw this in the upright in your reading? Um, and how you felt about this person. You were telling me, like, they made you feel that way. All right, so listen. Listen. Okay, so this person, I see financial success in the future. You're going to be fine. You're, 
this person see you single, see you glowing, you're going to be ugh, you're looking good, Scorpio, okay? Um, listen, this person is going to come towards you, even in the future. I do see them trying to be very slow about it because you might be with somebody else here. Um, when you do see this person coming towards you, this is your energy towards them, which is the six of wands. You are very defensive and looking at them like, like you just want to shut them down. Like, But it's all about what they have done to you like trying to mess with your confidence because when they did what they did to you it's like it made a, a big dent in your confidence like try to put your confidence down try to make you feel like you this is what you deserve or you know you weren't good enough you know what i'm saying so you know this is how you you're you remembering them you know but here we have the love two of cups <laughs> so many connections you know, wanting to work things out. Listen, for some of you, you might want for a divorce or separation, okay? And you had to um, tie up a lot of loose ends, and you did. For some of you, there was some money issues, some debt issues when this person left you, or some kind of money that went missing for some of you, or you gave this person a lot of money, um, and you had to deal with a lot of building your life back up from scratch okay and you did i see you you did you came out of debt you ended that debt um situation all right or you ended all of this that past situation you did very good because here you're very 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 successful and um, financially stable okay so money isn't an issue for you for long if you are going through that scorpios i'm also seeing the chariot here this person is totally coming towards you you know, see these two horses, you're going to meet at the right time, the right place, you know. I'm seeing like this wand here in their hand. You know, it looks like this, like like a little flower, but it's actually this little wand, like little, little, little like glitter, like, you know, go, go towards the night person. You know, they're just walking towards you. <laughs> but then you have the star. You know, in the center here, listen, the sun in the back, it's all defined timing, it's all meant to be, this person is going to make you happy. When you guys get together and get in a good place and finally sit down again and talk to each other and let the universe work, then, you know, you're, gonna, you're just going to, like, be lost in your in each other's presence and energy. But that's what I see is, like, going to flow very smoothly in the chariot moving forward and then we have the nine of cups remember we had that in reverse you guys well honey it's have changed so this person feelings is totally like yes they think that they can have a chance with you they think that they can have this nine of cups again like you know making all these goals and these successes with you and these things happen you know this happiness with you because they feel like you're everything they ever wanted. It's just that you fell through your fingers because of what they have brought to the relationship or what kind of energy they have let into your guy's home, okay? Into your space. Like the tests that they went through, they failed. So I'm also getting the Wheel of Fortune here. Hmm, page of Wands. Yeah, the cycle has ended, you guys. So you guys have learned the lesson here. So it's up to you to see what you want to do from now on. So it definitely will be different moving forward. This person definitely needs to be careful with you because the angels are watching them or some kind of protection around you. Like you have some kind of someone protecting you from this or any from any more heartbreaks or anything because if this person does wrong again come they're going to experience a whole a whole bunch of karmic energy that they don't want to experience okay so i see the lesson learned here i see that this person wants to share a lot of things with you they're very nervous about these things i'm also seeing like there's some unfinished business with making a decision a set decision i'm thinking it's about this relationship because you know with the two of cups here is the mutual feelings and i always tell you guys that and i'm also seeing marriage for some of you because you guys are tied together it's like a contract before you were even born okay honestly you guys are meant to find each other in this life in the next and in the, the next i mean you can say i don't want to ever see you again and now it's over but no it's a contract honey it's a, 
it's like you know in this life you don't get it right the next life you might get it right or not the next it's like over and over and over until you get it right y'all um but let's keep going y'all so i'm seeing a lot of self-healing self-love here self-appreciation and this is good because you're living in a positive light and you're also choosing yourself moving forward i'm getting like a feeling for some of you you guys um lost yourself when it came into relationships um and you know it's just easy to because a lot of us scorpios were very laid back we like to be alone we like to get in, in, we, we appreciate our space and then when someone comes into our lives um we lose focus on things that we work on you know because we're giving all of that energy or some of that energy to someone else so we put because i feel like with a scorpio energy we tend to work on um that's what we like to have one partner because we put our energy in one thing and it blossoms but when we like scatter things around like our energy with other people i have to give this person time i have to give that person time i'm not good at that we're not good at having a whole bunch of friends and remembering this person's birthday and that person's birthday <laughs> we're just like damn man oh i just want to be by myself you know so scorpios like the self-love Thing. and I see that you're going to do that and you're doing that and you're just going to be so great um, and you're going to be very successful I'm seeing promotions I'm seeing money Scorpio I'm seeing like whatever job or whatever you're putting your energy into maybe starting your own business is going to work like things are going to be good but but this page of um, Pentacles, of the Seven of Pentacles, is right next to the Eight of Pentacles, which is very interesting. Watch your spending, okay? I know you got the money. Yes, I see the um the Nine of Pentacles over here. That's your first card in the future. I mean, boom, you know, financial stability. Please watch your money. I know you like to buy things for people. I know you like to like pay for your friends' vacations. If you got money, Scorpio, you like to spend it. But, because you're a very kind person, but be careful because it's so easy to go back to broke. <laughs> if you guys made it to 52, go ahead and like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here so YouTube can push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the hero can grow, okay? All right. We have, this is all that commercial. That's like three commercials I did so far in this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just cracked myself up. I know I'm corny, y'all, but yeah. let's get back into it. The angels are saying, Scorpio, you are going to be successful in your money. You're going to be successful in your love life. It might not look like that right now, but things are going to fall into place with a chariot, okay? It's going to be I'm not on your time, Scorpio. It's going to be on the universe. It has to be right. If they throw it at you right now, it ain't going to work. People have to have time to reflect and see what they have done wrongly so they can correct it. If they just throw it at you right now when it's all fresh and done, this person is going to be in a death in reverse. They're not going to understand what is going on, why you feel this way about this situation, blah, blah, blah. Okay? All right, so we have the emperor here. This person feels like, you know, they've been defeated, you know, in their lives, all right, um, in their situations that they have done. And I'm not going to say, like, that's why they're coming back to you because your energy is looking, like, very positive because they're, been, they're going through a lot of things when it comes to their life. And I feel like it's a lot to do with this karmic energy, which is just a taste. It's not... Um, of the whole form and this is why I feel like this person is like damn since I did this look at my life it's going downhill but then I look at Scorpio wow is that Scorpio Woo! you know looking so good looking glowing because this person sees you glowing you don't even realize this person sees you because you're busy just your life is so like taking a whole another world okay and this is why when this person comes to you in the future, because they're going to try to make an amends here, you are in the reverse in this cup. You're like, oh my God, what do you want? No, not you again. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This is what you like. Okay? Because all you're thinking about when you see them is every little thing that they have done wrong. 
and the six of wands you know this person is very attractive but you're just looking at them like damn you're beautiful but you ugly on the inside that's what you're saying scorpio mm, be nice be nice karmic energy is on your side remember what i tell you scorpio karmic energy is on your side only if you stay humble okay only if you stay humble and that's for this person because that's a test too i feel like this is a test coming back at you because they're going to face karmic energy they're already doing that but it's not the full blown of it and this is why this person is like oh i feel defeated everything that i'm touching is just crumbling they i think they invested in something because it's seven two and they're right next to it it's like they invested something and they lost a lot of money I'm, I'm, I'm not hearing this person said they were going to do something, move somewhere, open something, start a business, and it never worked. And they put a lot of money in with somebody and they got robbed or scammed. Hmm. The magician. Hmm. This person needs to be careful. Very, very careful. On the back, the Six of Swords moving forward. Let's see to where, because I'm nosy. Ooh, communication. All right, so your person is coming back, moving forward because they're jealous. They see you with somebody. Uh, no, it's about this Ace of Wands that you, you rejected them. Like, you know, the sexual attention. Yeah, look at this. Hermit. That's you, Scorpio. I mean, I think you're scared of this person, honestly, because they hurt you in the sun. You know, you feel like this person is not ready. They not. You're right. <laughs> Scorpio, follow your intuition. Your intuition is right on point. Because I look at this uh, night and I'm like, yeah, Scorpio, right. They play up. They're not ready for no relationship. But they ain't letting you go. So they rushing in because they see somebody with you. Moving forward towards you towards what the relationship and here you are your energy lonely you know in your own no, i'm not saying lonely. listen i'm a scorpio too don't shake okay I, i'm alone right now in my house i got nobody up in here scorpio okay no <laughs> i protect my energy okay i meet you somewhere that's what i say because y'all please i don't want nobody up in here okay if you ain't family i'm good all right <laughs> So don't think I'm shading you, okay? In your lonely place. Okay, Scorpio, that's where you at. You good. You mad, but you good. You mad that this person wasted your time in the sun. They're like, and this is this is in the present moment. So it ain't the future. When I pull from the backyard, it's from the present time. The present time. So that's why you feel this way. All right, we're still in the future. Right here, we haven't even done yet. You know, I've seen a lot of manipulation. I feel like, you know, this person is, you need to be careful, Scorpio, because because of what this person is going to go through, um, the trials and tribulations of what they have done, okay? Um, I've seen uh, this person being defeated, not even caring about themselves, don't have any confidence, the confidence is shut, and so they're sleeping around with other people. Not only that, being very, talking about you really bad with other folks, let me just say that, Okay? Talking about you badly for other folks. Don't want to hear your name because why? Why? You blossoming. And you don't want nothing to do with them. You know? You don't want nothing to do with them. But it's a soulmate. I'm so happy for you, Scorpio, because when you see this in the upright, you love this person. You appreciate them and everything. And for some of you guys, like when I do readings like this and the soulmate part is in the upright like that, most of the time I'm like, oh, Y'all gonna get back together, but Scorpio, you really, really not having this. Like you, you look at this person, you appreciate them, you love them. They know you know they're your soulmate. You know, but you just not giving them that time of day. This person is daydreaming about you, kissing you, making love to you on your bed. This is what this person is thinking about. Okay, in a chariot. They just they just riding on the horse, thinking about all the good things that's gonna happen to Scorpio and them. Look at that. They think that you're gonna get you're gonna get married, gonna have a happy ending, everything. The nine of 
cups. All these things that they're going to do is going to be successful. They don't have no doubt. But when they see, when they get there, and it doesn't go their way, because this wheel of fortune in reverse, you're like, cycle in reverse. I have learned my lesson and I am done. You know? Done. <laughs> uh, this person is going to change your tune. They don't feel like, like somebody shot them. Devastated. You know? They're like, dang. Scorpio, you know, took their cup and walked away. Sorry, I keep hitting my mic, y'all. Took their cup and walked away, trying to find somebody else. Okay? That's what, that's what it is. I'm trying to find somebody else out there for you. You lost faith in this person. Now they're living in regret here. They can't give you the offer that they want to give you. They're willing to fight, though, and work things out. But move in very slowly when it comes to a legacy with you. Because I don't feel like this person has the money or has anything to offer you. And this is what's bothering them. It's like they're saying, Scorpio, you have everything. I don't have nothing. I can't offer you nothing. But all the thing I can do is fight for the cause. Plan. Talk about the future. Okay? Be mature enough to try to work things out. But when it comes to buying something, they lost their money. So let's clarify some cards here because you got a few to clarify. Why is the Four of Cups in reverse, please? Four of Cups in reverse. All right, so we have the justice in the two of cups. How the hell? Why are you feeling the same way? Why are you giving this person a hard time, the four of cups? You're saying it's over. This person is saying, well, the spirits are saying, because this person been unfair to you. This person been unfair to you. But you realize, you see, there's so many confirming soulmate connections. Hmm. That they are always going to be in your heart. But they did too much. That's why it's in reverse. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse, please? Um, three or two cards at a time, but we have four here. So we have the two of uh, the swords here. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the hangman in reverse, and we have the king of pentacles. Okay. Ugh. It's like you made a decision to make peace with the fact that this person totally did not give you the relationship that you desire when it when it comes to investment and time and planting seeds and making them grow into this relationship because this person when they met you they lied or appeared to be something that they wasn't because now they're in, the, in reverse like this person could have said i have a business or i have a large following or i have all these things going for me more than one business i got so much money in the bank i got this and i got that and and when you found out the truth about this person they don't have none of that okay none of that and it's kind of like okay and not only that this person is like it's not about financial things but it's also about planning with these wands like planning the future everything that this person planned with you just didn't happen like you know it's like they got you and then it is said to get you like said those things to get you if that makes sense they got you and then they just change and shift. 
The only thing that you could do that I'm seeing here that you're telling me that you did is to focus on yourself and your money because this person wasn't focused on you. Like you wasn't important to them anymore. Like this person made you wait. Okay, this person wanted you to reach out to them, wanted you to call them, wanted you to fix things. Okay, when it's an issue, you have to take the L. That's what I'm hearing. You have to take the L. They never took the L. They never took responsibility. But I'm seeing you making peace for this. Like, you are always making peace because you don't want this to linger. You don't want to um, live in this negative emotion emotional roller coaster with them you're like walking around tiptoe and you know trying not to start an argument why is the wheel of fortune in reverse hmm. you're saying this person was definitely a player vibe somebody that was not ready for a relationship there was no communication here, but there was a, tr a sexual attention between you and this person or there was, for some of you, a third party that's coming through where this person was uh, sleeping with, okay? Because I'm getting twin flame, I'm getting a totally different energy that you guys are bringing in. Oh, okay, well, yeah, there was no communication about this. Like something that you found out about. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the judgment here? Why is the judgment here, please? In reverse. Why is the judgment in reverse? We already know why, but we just like to get into the business, okay? I'm trying to be nosy. What's going on? If you guys made it to 106, 42, 43, 44, 45. Go ahead and like this video, okay? So YouTube can push the videos through to a bigger audience so the video can grow so the channel can grow. There go that commercial. <laughs> all right, y'all. Uh, all right, so the justice. You know, when this person uh, did this, the justice is telling me this person did this, everything falling apart. We already know about this. But, you know, single, single life wasn't going very good for this person. And they wanted to give you another chance. But there were a lot of um, things that the angels had to do to get this person back on track with self-healing, self-love, um, temperance. So you are going through healing. This person is going through healing as well. Um, this is why the decision wasn't made here. This person did what they did. They recognized what they did. Okay? Wanted to come back, but was afraid of how you might have felt with this situation. And temperance is here. This person realized their fault and what they had to do. This is why the karmic energy stopped. Because this person is starting to learn, okay, this was wrong. It's when you don't re recognize what you have done, that the universe get involved to show you. To show you. Everything that you touch will fall apart when you do bad things to people and karmic energy is following you. You want to be successful, you're investing, and it's not happening. All your plans are falling apart when you step over somebody toes to get where you are because that's karmic energy. You end up fired in the long run or something. I just, it's falling out. Okay, this card wants to be seen here. Um, you know, this person sees you as happy, like somebody that wants to, like this person sees you as, you know, the happiness, the long run, like in the future. It's funny how the nine of cups is saying, this just came out, maybe I wasn't um, looking at the card, but it just fell out of my hand. The ten of cups, you guys. So they're really having faith that you don't have no faith, but this person is having faith for both of y'all. Both of y'all. I don't want to say that's how I feel, so I'm saying it, okay? This person is having faith for both of y'all. This is very um, interesting because when this happens and say this person get into a spiritual side of things, because right now I see them um, falling backwards, okay? I see them falling backwards, but nothing is happening for them with you, okay? Um, and the faith, you don't have no faith in the star. You're like, listen, <laughs> enough is enough, all right? But if they get to a better place, they might have this, you know, they might.
might have is not that not to say that you don't have no right or no freedom of will because you do but you know the universe will like show you what kind of person this is like bringing brand new is the same person that's why we have the ace of cups sometimes when the ace of cups is pulled we say a brand new person is coming to you it could be the same person but this person's energy just shift into somebody else like wow this person is definitely someone that i just don't know anymore like they're better you know like that's why there's per se a brand new person so you just never know the universe is clearly working on this person because they're realizing what they have done here, okay? What is the magician in reverse, please? The magician. What is it in reverse? Let me see. I know this person. Be very careful, you guys, because this person is very reckless with their bodies. I don't know if I said this already. Um, and this person is very much... For some of you just having sex with everybody. Um, and they're not protecting themselves. So very, not all the time. So be very careful so you don't transmit an STD, okay? Because they're like, damn, you left me, I don't got nothing to live for. That's what I'm hearing. But they're constantly trying. You know, it's like they have no confidence in themselves. That's like I said but see, just now. It's like I'm repeating myself, y'all. When, when I'll be clarifying, that's why I'll be clarifying with cards a lot. But this person has no confidence in themselves. Let me just tell you this. But they constantly try and they constantly get rejected. This is what I'm going to see with you. Like constantly rejected. Um, This person is definitely coming off as a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy for some of you. They could be Aries, Leo, or Sag as well. But they have this fun vibe about them. Fun, but passionate vibe. But, you know, they're when they're with you, they're showing you that they're confident. But when you, like, when they leave your, your, your space, your energy, they're not. Why is the star in reverse? Why is the star in reverse? Why is the star in reverse? that you gave this chance to and this person just never gave you the real relationship that you wanted this person was overbearing at times and very controlling i'm seeing for you some of you mental and physically abused by this person mental and physically abused by this person manipulation is the key here stubbornness a lot of i want to control this relationship this person wants you to listen to them all the time they feel like when you don't listen to them you don't love them this is dangerous, okay? They want you to do what they tell you to do. Ooh, what the hell is this? This is a dark energy. This is why you're leaving this person. You're running for the hills. You're saying that since this person's been gone, you're like, you're telling me that you don't want their love. You don't want their love. I'm here feeling sorry for this person because they show me. They're not showing me the whole fact. You're showing me the facts. All right. Five of why is this person feel regret? Why is this here? What they have done? Tell me about this person's energy, please. Clarify. They're saying they cheated. They messed up this five of pentacles. This ten of pentacles here. Um, they invest, they invest in this third party. They put their time in something that wasn't, they, should, they shouldn't have put their, their time in. And they forgot about what was important here, the Ten of Cups, which is something that means a lot to them. This is why the Ten of Cups came up, because well, the Five of Cups, I mean, not the five, the ten of cups, but the ten of pentacles is here in reverse. But I feel like in your first watch, um, don't quote me below if I'm wrong, but I swear I saw the ten of pentacles 
where this person is that like this was important to them. Okay, so let's go over here and then we're gonna close this up because this video is already at 114. If you made it here, go ahead and like this video, give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube can see that you like it, it resonates, push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. <laughs> Alright, what's the five of pentacles here? I already know, but let's see what's going on. So, you know, for some of you, this person made the wrong decision here, caused you a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety, um, caused you to even go into a deep depression. Um, also, for some of you, we're thinking about harming yourselves, um, giving up on life here. Um, it was about this relationship that you guys had in the King of Cups. Uh, but I'm also seeing like, for some of you, you found something new. You found, through the darkness, you found love. Oh my goodness. You found love. Not saying that you don't love this person, but I'm getting someone else, y'all. Through the darkness, as I'm clarifying these cards, it's like this person came to you, I mean, at the right time, the right place. That's what I'm getting. That's the seven of pentacles here. Let me use another deck. Hold on, y'all, because I want to... I'm gonna finish this deck. Why is it um why is the seven of pentacles here, Scorpio? Please tell me about this seven of pentacles. Okay. This. You have the page of swords, the eight of swords. All right, so you, you know, this person was just taken wrong. This person didn't invest in you. They didn't make any moves towards you in this future. And I also feel like um, you freed yourself from this person. You let go of this situation. And this is why everything fell apart here. This person lost a lot. This person... Like the communication again, the page of swords. Like this person is, hi, how you doing? Good, okay. Kind of thing when it comes to talking to you. It's like very short. Like this person lied to you. I'm seeing like this person kept you in the dark. You had to just leave this relationship. They made any, they didn't make any movements to come towards you and to try to save this relationship. They feel defeated here. They're stop making moves. They feel like they lost the battle. Why is this cup here? Two of cups, please. Oh, they, they're holding back their um, emotions now. They have a lot. They're late. They're too late. There's somebody else that comes into this connection that got you. They're, they're too late. They made you wait. That's what this is. They devastated you, made you feel like you wasn't the one, put you through a lot of depression and, and everything. And here they are, like devastated now that they're trying to get you back. And you are definitely moved on with somebody. I'm not saying this person is, I'm saying this person is emotional. Could be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces that you moved on with. Somebody that has a lot of emotions, not afraid to express their feelings. The devil is here. The Knight of Wands and the Sun. So you shut down this person. They're just too cocky. They think that um, you are going to be there forever. Like you belong to them. Um, they got stuff going on that they don't want to. Um, let 
this in. Your past is a Libra energy. I'm getting like Libra energy, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a, your past person that was a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy. But your future energy is coming off as somebody. I'm getting two different. This is why I, I hate when they confuse me like this. Because I'm getting like a new person that you're with now or somebody that's going to enter into your life. But this is the future, okay? That's going to enter into your life when you're going through this depression stage. You're um, trying to work on letting things go because this person affected you. They're going to always come back and try to make things work with you because I believe there it's a contract. It's a soulmate connection. For some of you, you might have a child together, all right, um, or some kind of marriage, all right? So, and you're trying to tie up these loose ends and try to get this person or get rid of this person. For some of you, you're going back and forth with your intuition. You don't know if you want to stay or if you want to go because this is a big deal. This is a big shift in your life. But this person is going to come. The new person is going to come at the right time. Okay? Because it's all about this person's energy. If they could fix it, they won't experience karmic energy. But And they won't have to watch you move on with somebody else. But because I saw them in the emperor and the magician in reverse, where they're very reckless with their words, saying things, talking about you with other people because you don't want to be with them or you rejected them in the future, they kind of shift this old energy. And now there is somebody else that's coming through. Um, and you definitely are going to reject them because they're coming off as really cocky, like sexually. But they're supposed to be giving you this this offer but they're not because they're coming off as libra energy very cocky very like you know I, yeah i got i'm a victim <laughs> kind of energy very attractive acting like the sex is everything and it's not but in all of that this person is really really immature and really um don't have any confidence on the inside on the outside they could look like a damn model for god's sake but you you are going to look at your inner self you're going to choose yourself i'm seeing you with a child look at this okay in the sun happy <laughs> happy 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 some of y'all might be pregnant Tell me about this emperor, please, in reverse. This emperor in reverse. Tell me about this emperor in reverse. Everything fell apart. So this emperor, I mean, he felt, or she, he, she, whoever, felt defeated here. They're trying to undo this tower. This is why, oh, you can't make this stuff up. They're trying to undo this tower. They feel very defeated that this didn't work out. You know, they moved too slow in the page of pentacles. Like, move, keep moving. And then this person is like in the five of cups, living in regret. This is why they changed to the magician in reverse. Reckless. Reckless, mad, 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 mad. So if they don't do the right thing, and remember y'all, just because it's going this way, remember this person could change because the future is never set. They could do the right thing and everything would shift. And you know what I'm saying? So they don't have to watch you move on with somebody else. But because they're going this way with their attitude, this is what I'm seeing. What's the Page of Pentacles, please? That's on the last card. Page of Pentacles. If you guys made it to 123, I'm just looking at the time because, hey, 123. Go ahead and like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube can push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow. So the channel can grow. Page of Pentacles. Please clarify this Page of Pentacles for me, the Scorpio person, please. Please clarify. Huge mistake. This person made a huge mistake that changed their future. That changed their future. Oh, all right. So we have the King of Swords in reverse. No communication. 
this person was very slow. Two of swords. They didn't make the decision fast enough. You know, they didn't communicate with you, didn't tell you what they truly wanted. You know, but they're like, like their confidence though. They're trying to get their confidence all the way up here. For some of you, I'm getting Leo energy. They have Leo in their chart. Clearly, this person is an air sign because you got the way they, they, they move. Two of swords, king of swords, page of swords. Ugh. This person is blocked. Like, you're eventually blocking them from your life because they're going to continue to try and to try and to try and to try and try to fix things. You know, they feel devastated, but... They're going to keep trying, but I see you blocking them because they're doing too much. Wow. I'm going to leave this here because this video is already long. If you made it to 25, 30, 25, 31, 35, 25, 34, 30. <laughs> Go ahead and like this video, you guys. Like it, share it so YouTube can push the videos forward in a bigger audience so the video can grow. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Hope you enjoy your mega, you guys. This is a crazy energy. Congrats on your new person. Hopefully, you guys can work it out if you guys are married. But, you know, I'm not saying that. If that's, a, a, that's if you want to. I see the judgment here, the two of cups. Some of you are filing for divorce here. Separation. The ten of pentacles in reverse. This person did a lot. You, did, you know, you almost, like, forgot who you were the way this person had you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and... Some of you are married. If that's important for you and you want to work it out, that's up to you. Do that. Um, if you choose to move on, there will be somebody else. Remember, karmic energy only happens once you stay humble. Stay humble to yourself. Stay humble to this person as well if they approach you, okay? I do see you're, you know, you're denying whatever they got going on. And this person turns a little bit, well, not a little, a lot of, they turn dark, okay? They turn dark when they don't have you in their lives and when they do they tend to make mistakes to make you devastate you okay so this is what i see you guys i love you guys you know scorpio that you are perfect how you are you know in the long term this person do see you and them happy you know i do see you with a child i do see you choosing yourself your inner self I see you traveling. I see you happy doing things on your own. You're more happier on your own than when you were in this relationship with this person. But there were, there is going to be someone that is going to give you a bigger offer. It's not your soulmate, but this person that's coming in is someone that is definitely emotional and is ready for a committed relationship. So no matter who you move on with, not to put the damper on your life, but you're always going to remember this relationship you know but you're going to be with someone that is going to cherish you and fulfill your cup okay all right guys love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys